Cuba as part of one of our comparative programs where students travel first to Nicaragua, then to Cuba, and then back to Nicaragua again to be able to give a comparison of the effects of arts on social change and the effects of social change on the arts. I think the experiment is a unique program because it's multifaceted and it has the homestay element, it has the thematic focus, and it really focuses on immersion. Living in a community that's so foreign and rural taught me that it's important to always build connections with people wherever you go despite differences that you may have. My host family is awesome. My mom is always trying to help. It's helping my Spanish a lot with the immersion, just when they don't know English, so if I don't know a word, I've got to figure it out on my own. I can't just ask them. But listening to my mom talk about the revolution and the war in, in the neighborhood that we're currently living in is pretty crazy to me because it's just a little unbelievable that if I look outside the window that maybe 40, 50, 60 years ago, there's a war being fought, and that makes me realize I take freedom for granted sometimes. Here in Cuba, they spend their time in Havana exploring the world of the arts and social organizations. I think this is a very important theme for the experiment because it's universal. Art has always been a way to facilitate change in many different cultures. Okay, welcome here to this place. They also are able to get to see the sights, taste the food, and really engage with the culture, listen to the music, really get to know Cuba in perhaps a, a very different light than what is commonly understood from a U.S. perspective. You hear the stories from the United States perspective, but in Cuba and Nicaragua, it's completely different. Here in Cuba, with the cars and the buildings and the colors, it's very vibrant. I think Cuba is kind of similar to where I'm from. There's a lot of people, it's pretty loud. I'd say that this city is more colorful than mine. This type of program is really critical at this time, especially with the changing relationships with the U.S. and the way that there's been a dynamic and changing relationship truly over many decades with Cuba. I think the experiment stands out from other programs because it really brings the students into the culture and it just makes it so much easier to really learn about something when you're just there doing it. And so what we do is we get the students to be involved in these different experiences and after the fact we will sit down and reflect on what they have learned and what the implications are for their future. I feel like after Cuba, by coming back to Nicaragua, I have more of an appreciation for their way of living. I can see the differences between Cuba and Nicaragua. Even though the language is the same, the whole culture is different. This was definitely really inspiring for me to see the all these kids, like, they mentioned that some of them can't even afford shoes and they're here trying to get an education. If everyone has a common interest, anything can be done if everyone is together and working in unison. This experience has really changed me as a person. Being on this trip has definitely changed me. Making connections with people wherever I go is super important to me now. Everything that I've seen so far has really inspired me to be a better person. This is how leadership plays out in a very experiential and hands-on way in the experiment and right here in Cuba.